Yes, finally, finally, finally! Though, of course, we're back with another pretty quick Dark Mode video. So, yeah, we did get the new Dark Mode Hero stuff, of course. Coming up for World Bowl and JPF, of course, the whole Hero Celebration. Again, we get it every year. It's not nothing like really new or crazy or whatever. Again, same stuff we get every year, same simple stuff. So, let's get it started. Again, I'm probably won't make this video too too long for you guys. Again, I say that every video, but I still go on anyway, though. So, yeah, my throat got a little bit dry beforehand. I was just like, mm. man. I actually did a like crap a little bit yesterday though. Kinda am glad I am doing kind of thank god. I'm kinda glad I am doing a video though. I did freak out my on my Pokemon review. I've not uploaded it since recording yet, so I did a whole like review for like Mega. Like um um I won't spoil it though, but I, I did um Yeah, it was really good. It was it was good. For the new um Jerry's episode for J um for JP it was it was really good. So of course we got the Dragon Ball Heroes stuff, of course. I mean I have a full like list right here. I won't look like uh, it's not like a link or whatever though, I just have like a list of everything that um I kind of drew down beforehand to get everything kind of ready because we did have the eleventh celebration of Dark Ball Heroes. And crazy, it's been eleven years since this game has been out. I've been following it since it came out back to like 2010. So that's when I got back, like 2010, 2011, when I got into Dragon Ball. Um, cause I was like, about I was like, what the heck is this? I was like, Goku and this random new character. So we were saying three trunks. I'm just like blowing up my mind. Like, what the heck is going on? So on um, my my camera is like really weird as well because it's like I got it perfectly good set up. But I have it like everywhere else though. But yeah, um, like I said, we got the hero stuff coming up. Of course, a little bit of rainbow text again. Anything rainbow, I love. You guys know I like rainbow or hyper mean, rainbow or so yeah. <laughs> I can, of course. But yeah, um, yeah, here we have the little celebration. Of course, we have something new coming forward from all heroes. Of course, um, new heroes can be can be for um, doking. So yeah, again, every year if you guys not know this or else you're new or whatever, um, because I know a lot of people, are, a lot of people on my channel are new, and that's pretty much YouTube in a nutshell. Like everybody's new. You got a little bit of people who aren't subscribed because half of the viewers I watch, the people who watch me, are really not subbed. But I don't care. Like it's it amusing me. But at the end of the day, I don't care. Uh, even one view, I don't care. I, like two, five, ten hundred, I don't care. It's all about me. Anyway, I mean, people do care about you, so never forget that. But yeah, of course, we have Zeno Pan, of course, coming to what the first unit that was actually announced. Um, again, like I said, this is coming from the Global NGP, of course. Again, this happens at like the last four years, pretty much. Um, Hogo was like almost, yeah, like three, four years now because they had like, like, the, they had like a um, AGL, like Toa, there was like a Super Saiyan 3 adult size, you know, team, like, you know, Trunks, um, Gohan. I remember they came out for Global. They came out a little bit early though, but they had like the next Global had like the next banner after that. So Global only had this is their fourth banner. The gave me I think this is like the their fifth banner. We got like new of course this time now this time around announced. We don't have any of the new units new units. I know like a lot of people think like Super Saiyan 3 Rose. I saw one with the scythe. I was like, oh my god, I never knew it was the Super Saiyan 3 Rose with the scythe. I was just like, oh my god, this is insane, like holy crap. So um yeah. Um Again, like a lot of people think in that, or just work out Super Saiyan 3 Rose. I don't think they go pull the site though. Um, I'm trying to think of it. Oh, so I'm trying to think. Um, the hoodie, um, saying, you know, not borrow Goku or whatever. Um, the fuck, I fuck, Goku Black. I'm on like, um, Blue Evolution of Vegeta. That actually be really good for like Room of God and like Fusion and stuff like that. That actually would be really helpful. Again, all these heroes units actually be about like Kagro and Time Traveler Super Saiyan 3. Uh, we do got a lot of awakenings and stuff like that. Of course, again, like I said, this is um, the Dark Mode hype one I just found before the video started. I was like, oh my god. Even then, I, I was gonna record the video like right at 2 o'clock and I was like, okay. I gotta get this up. I gotta like have to um get to prepare and stuff like that. Of course, Zeno Pan was the first ever unit to be um linked right here. Of course, she is a uh, some little unit though. A lot of people are like, oh Zeno Pan, blah. But every pan we got in the past has all been really good though. I'm just saying in general. I always like her design though too. Like it's kinda like real short art design because when I first saw it back in like what 2017, 2018, I was just like This is actually good. I was at Tar I was at Target. <laughs> I saw the preview I was like Super Saiyan 4 with Zeno um Kyle King like Gogeta, so that was kind of crazy. That's what they, they got limited for Super Saiyan 4. Um, blue, evolved blue, you know, dark blue, royal blue, Gogeta, again, like, so many units this year and stuff like that. Again, a lot of crazy like dark, dark berserker, Vegeta, and back to you, like Goku, though. These heroes are up and on. Um, yeah, like, you can do so much stuff, like, just so much craziness right now for like, heroes. I know we have like Bojack. Uh, not Super Saiyan 3 Turtles, but black hair, Super Saiyan Cumber, like with his, uh, his face mask and stuff like that. Um, well, that's a face mask. I want to actually find them though. That actually would be, be pretty cool if they change and stuff like that. As like, you know, we're kind of a couple going along with like face mask and stuff like that. Um, I actually would be pretty cool. Of course, like I said, Zeno Pan's right here. We have, of course, the new units for Astro uh, Gold. Well, they didn't mess up right here. They actually didn't really said Super Saiyan 3 um, Go Tanks. Um, again, I have the whole image of everything. This is the gold image and stuff like that. Of course, can you go to JP? JP. Um, this is announced with Xeno Pan and stuff like that. Again, this card, I just saw it like, it's like, yeah, at least it's like a lower tier, like S. That's super rare, but like a lower tier, kind of like rare card of the King Heroes. 
That's what I heard about. I think this is gonna be her SSR art. It's gonna be her TUR. I, I definitely know this is like a hard art from Heroes. I definitely know that. So when I first saw this, I'm like, oh, this is a pen. It's kind of cool. I like that. Um, again, every pen unit has been broken in the game pretty much so far. I but she was like a hero support type unit. We're talking about heroes and like heroes units like yeah. Flash. She could probably be like a good compatible support unit, or probably like a, like a regular support unit of like a heroes unit and stuff like that. Like hero, yeah, probably heroes, maybe good family. Probably a regular, just regular hero unit, like in general, like a superhero, like class type or whatever. I'm going to pronounce or going with that. Of course, they'll be yeah. Um, but yeah, though, um, I get a lot of possibilities for Pan. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, she sucks, but she could actually be pretty good, though. I get every Pan in the game, they made her really good, though, so nothing like really crazy that to call for on that for a little bit, though. Just saying, just saying, in the past, they have done it before, they have done craziness way before anime. Like, oh, they suck, but now they're actually gonna probably be really good anyway, though. So yeah, um, on to the next one, of course, all the Awakenings, of course. We got a lot of Awakenings this time around. Again, they always tease it like this every year. They always have the app icon, they do a show of the new one. Um, they have, of course, like I said, other new units, fresh new units, or, um, and I think it's the first time they ever did Awakening, so, because this is all, they're technically new Awakenings, but they're, like, two, three years old, so, and now at this point, though. So, yeah, this is Super Saiyan 3, um, I could go wild these really quick. I think this one's just, what was this image? Like, oh, yeah, all the heroes units from the last couple of years. Um, so, yeah, um, so, yeah, this Goku right here, of course, is Xeno Goku, the Giga Awakening, the Super Saiyan, um, this Vegeta as well. Um, this, of course, um, um, go tank Xeno, because uh, I was like, wait a minute, um, this is the physical one from like, a couple years ago, the like, and there's like a physical one, so the game's file, they never released it at all for Global. For Debbie, they did, we got Logger Bonus, Global, they never did for some odd reason. I know it might suck though, but at least, can we at least have it for college purposes at least, because we still have a guy in it. Maybe it was like a copyright um, card or whatever, but <laughs> I think there's the only card that didn't really, not on Global. Again, Global Shaft, JP Rules. As people say it, or JPW, you know, Global L, whatever. <laughs> I don't know, last year next to the guy who did the, um, I think it was like the six year, like, you had Goku, like, influence about that. He actually was on there for a couple of seconds. He just left. He's like, okay, time to go back to the best. Bye. Like, he literally just goes into, like, the corner of the best. Like, okay, Doki, you got your time. Now go back in your corner. Like, literally, that's what they did for him. I was like, man, that's a shock right there. Man, forget you, Doki. But yeah, um, um, this is Gohan, I believe. I know it's Gohan, Gohan, Gohan. Gohan, Xeno Gohan in the truck, so I was like confusing, confusing for them. They're gonna go into Super Saiyan 3. Um, but Jake's right here, we're we'll going into Super Saiyan. Again, this is Vegeta and Trunks, Fusion specifically, from using the Patara. So, yeah, again, a lot of awakenings like that. Again, there's so much like on here. It's like, oh my god, I didn't have to, I like, really didn't have time to like this, like, dissect and go over it though. So, yeah, this is gonna be the Xeno Goku, the physical one. He was a support type unit. He moved Vegeta both Goku family, which of course the Vegeta family perspective units. There, again, a lot of support this year though. For Pan, we'll probably support. You guys gonna be support again. And you can also give SSRs too. Like, they're not like that bad. They're okay, but it's also like, if you really want to go that far, but yeah, they're actually gonna be rough. But I'm really excited for their awakening, so this is actually gonna be probably pretty good for their awakening. I cannot wait for that though. So, again, this will be in November. I do have all the listing and everything up for all the units. So, on, two, on two nine, I actually have like I always have like a full list I wrote down right here. So, on two nine of this month last year, on the 29th of October 2020, uh, we got the Super Saiyan 4 Broly ticket was confirming. I mean, I think we got a little bit but it beforehand. It was teased with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, this guy right here. Um, coming out for JP, because he came out now this one. Um, that's coming for Global Next, I believe, though. This guy right here. He got teased on JP. And then they teased the Super Saiyan 4 Broly figure and stuff like that, of course. We have the Grave category. Then you had like, the Xeno... Was it Xeno? No, that was the part two. I don't know, because Global had, I think, a celebration at the time, too. They had the part two stuff with the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, of course, Boo, like, right after the Dallas celebration. Not right after, but I don't know, like, November time. We had them, we had the grab category confirmed and stuff like that, of course. Great power category confirmed, or great category, wherever you want to go off. Um, this Goji did come out around, around Halloween. I thought it was a physical Golden Frieza for some odd reason, but he came out on the 5th of October of last year. The time slot was in the 5th of October. Um, it ultimately got hung because it came out literally at the same time last year. I think Golba had like a couple hours, you know, back and stuff like that, though. But yeah, this um, Goji right here did come out on 2 9, of course, last year, stuff like that. Of course, you know, his campaign came out on the 29th. Then we got um, this info like on the 30th and stuff like that, I believe. No, it came out on the 30th. We got the info on the 2 9. Because again, I record always like maybe like a day or two later or when X he does come out and stuff like that. But yeah, on the 1 19, of course, um, 2020, of November, um, no, 11, I meant to say 11. 11 19, like not timing, but the date 11 19 on um, November 11th, again, like I said, 2021. 2020. So we got the campaign info for the part two on um, Thinking Celebration. So yeah. Um, we have the campaign, of course, like I said, for Dragon Ball Heroes. Um, 
Then the 17th, I, I don't know what I don't order. On the 17th, we got the, of all units, the Duck and Out announcement. Then we got all the units info a couple hours later that night for JP specifically, I think. And we knew they were coming on the 14th, I think, though. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, on the 14th, I think that, no, the 14th, okay. Oh, yeah, November 14th, 2020, last year, we got the um, info units coming and stuff like that for the Duck and Out, I believe. On the 17th, I think that's when we got all the units and stuff like that confirmed everything. Um, that later that night, and of course, for the, it was a Duck and Out for Global and for JP. They were able to the units like we did this year already. It came really early, actually, this year. Around the same, like, kind of slot, though, but. Um, I mean, for JP specifically, yeah, they only, they only choose like once at the end of the, like, October. They, again, this is all gonna be later November though, so like on the 19th, 17th, these dates are actually the same right now. This is all last year, so we're gonna kind of see it in that same time slot as well. Yeah, um, of course, like I said, this good year came out right way before that though, so we're, the next Doka Festival Global, or JP Doka Festival, we get next in November. Um, Global on the 7th, I believe, 7th of November 2020, because it did say that, because when the campaign ends, we know that's when the next Doka Festival is gonna be confirmed. This good year apparently is coming to Global next. I don't, well, I don't know. They're gonna go. This is completely going out of order. I guess maybe they could say they could celebration for like um maybe talking about heroes this year maybe they could or just things go to early just cause um only maybe because maybe the chat code sound like last year like hey we had good year last year let's bring them this year for global so yeah here you go JP J JP win global else so, yeah but that should be coming in next for global and stuff like that of course but yeah I get a lot of little stuff like that um. Be all the years again, like I said, these are all the years that they're gonna awaken. Awaken this Goku and Vegeta go Super Saiyan. Um, so those is um, go takes to go to Super Saiyan. Go, yeah, go takes adult Zeno. We're gonna go Super Saiyan 3. Then it goes for Gohan, Super Saiyan 3. Um, you could just go Super Saiyan though. So again, a lot of just stuff I just kind of said though. You got like I said, this is the gold teaser right here. This is the JP stuff. I'll probably stay on the JP stuff. Um, but like I said though, last year we got this teaser on uh, I think it was the 17th, I think. Yeah, the 17th. Yeah, because the last time on the 17th, we got this teaser, Super Saiyan 4s. And again, I put in the thumbnail all the time. So, yeah, but this is the teaser for the Super Saiyan 4s last year, uh, 2020. Um, all these units and stuff like that. Doken Out, same day that's the end of the Doken Out got revealed. The Bill knew the Doken Out was coming and stuff like that. Um, last year, we got this, of course, for the teaser and stuff like that. Of course, we got the Doken Out, all that stuff, which was the 9th. Um, 19th of November, 17th, 14th. Again, then on Thanksgiving, of course, we have Bojack confirmed. Um, for JP and stuff like that, of course. Um, but yeah, then after that, we had, like, a, just, again, like, last couple of years, been your, it's November, so yeah, we got a whole month to wait for this at the time of recording. Again, like I said, we got stuff announced now, but, but all the other stuff, you know, canal, um, because we already got the info draft for both Global and JP, so all we gotta do is just, you know, info, like, you know, Doka Fest, Doka's probably gonna do a Doka now for all the units info. That's where we'll probably get all the info, to so we'll protect all that stuff, um, data download and stuff like that, of course, could do shorts on those and all that, of course. Um, yeah, again, like I said, Doka now, or Thank You Celebration Part 2, really going you know, to Dragon Ball Heroes, again, all this stuff is going to be kind of combined into the global. I mean, there's so much stuff to go over. Again, I'll go over it more with my other breakdown videos and stuff like that. Again, there's just so much to go over, though. But yeah, we got a lot of Dragon Ball Heroes units and stuff like that coming this year. A lot of good awakening. That's what you guys think, though. I'm excited. Again, Super Saiyan 3 Time Travelers, all that stuff gets, gonna, gets get buffed. It's going to get buffed. Helping out a lot, though. So yeah, I get a lot of. But, uh, a lot of crazy stuff. See you guys later, though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a, have a great day. Great life. All good to get though. Make sure to stay safe. Watch your hands. God bless you. all of you. Come out and all the matches. Hope you really need to. Um, even if you're driving, maybe just wear a match just to be safe. If you, can, if you can't get vaccinated, make sure you can. Again, don't go in the bathroom to some toilet paper. I see your greasy little hands. Disgusting. Nick. So we got to think about those. Oh, so of course, though, if you like it, you hate it. Again, I'm excited. I'm ready. Sorry the video cuts out a lot. I don't know what happened. It's usually good, though, but I don't care. I'm, I'm excited. You know I'm brave for talking about here. I love this series. See you guys later, though. Okay, no. It's out.